hey, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone today. I'm going to review this E63 S AMG car, and I'm also going to answer the viewer question from YouTube. What kind of car does Al drive every day? Well, this is the car I drive every day. And if you watch till the end of the video, I'm going to show you the brand new AMG GT car. I have a little video review of that, so watch till the end. Thank you. One of the best things about this car is um, is the fact that it's totally comfortable. Like right now, you're driving around, you wouldn't know that it's an ultra high performance car that it has the handling almost of a supercar when you dial up all these performance modes. Um, you know, basically at the at the touch of a button. Um, right now, I have it on the sport. Um, transmission mode so it's a little aggressive on the shifting but if I go back down to comfort on that um, on the transmission mode you know basically it's a very docile car it drives really smooth um, it's extremely quiet um, right now my uh, my tripod mount that I use is rattling a little bit but other than that the car is solid it doesn't it doesn't rattle um, and uh, it's it's just an ultra luxury car that combines the handling you know of a very good sports car and tremendous braking um, some of the performance uh, specifications that motor trend uh, got on this car when they tested it when it came out they were comparing it to an m5 um, back in the day where uh, the, their, their spec uh, 0 to 60 was 3.4 seconds which is pretty impressive for a car of 4,500 pounds which is what it weighs and 11.6 at 122 miles an hour and a quarter mile and, and 60 to 0 braking 106 feet lateral acceleration 0.95 G's so this thing goes right up there against just by anything on the road when this car was new the MSRP on this car is about 108. It was a hundred thousand sticker price. You can pick them up used uh, with some mileage on for about 45,000 right now. With you get one with really low mileage like this one, you could probably pick them up for high 50s. So there's not much you can get for that kind of price that that really combines all the features. If you if you want a four door car, you know of course if you want to get into a two door car like a Porsche Turbo or something like that. Um, there's other options like I said um, when you're driving around it's like a regular car when you get on it when you when you dial up the suspension settings when you start handling the car it's insane there's, there's very little that'll keep up with it on the road despite it's 4,500 pound weight very impressive car some reviewers that have reviewed this car have complained about nonsense like the fact that you can't skip tracks easily from the steering wheel you know what um, this is not a, a Honda Civic you know this is a, a serious driving machine this is probably one of the best all-around driving cars ever made um, this is a machine um, I don't want to say any names but I think you're being a jerk and your review when you're criticizing something stupid like that um, that's not what this car was made for uh, let's talk about some of the things that this car does do because it's since it's a driver's car um, it gives you some great stuff first of all um, this is a 2015 model um, you'll notice that it doesn't have a stock over here for shifting one of the reasons I don't like the new uh, AMG E63 is because the shift um, is the same as like on the E350 or E300 um, four-cylinder turbo it has like a shift on the steering column over here we have this really nice AMG leather um, shifter it's really you know when you have an AMG it's really nice I don't know why they have the hole in the middle I never figured that out but it's a really nice shifter when you want to put it in drive you just pull it back and you're in drive then you can take over you can immediately go to your paddle shifter you don't have to do anything you just you just just put it right in there in your first gear that's it that's that's it and you want to go up you know you can just shift anytime you want down shift is on the left and the right is up shifting 
So right now we're in first gear if we want the launch. I'm not sure the launch control in a minute. Now this is the, um, this is how you put it in park, this button. Um, some of the new cars have the button over here, like the M5 and the new the new E63. That's nonsense. This at least got a decent park button. And this is the uh, rotisserie for the control for the um, various modes for your um, transmission, right? So this is uh, comfort mode. All right, so that's your standard mode right there. And by the way, I have the configuration right now on the basic AMG display. Okay, so I can shift this around and I can go into other modes. You can configure anything from this display. It's all controlled here from this area over here. You can go in and configure anything, your tire pressure. You can go and do anything. Basically the interior lights, your your collision prevention, you know, like your distance in front of your car, your blind spot assistance, everything. Your phone, your, 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 uh, your radio, your navigation, your mileage. That's, I guess, some people watch. You can also have a speedometer in there if you want. I like to watch this because this gives you your coolant temp and your oil temperature. So you can basically watch that. It turns white when the car is ready to go and it's blue when, when it's not ready to go. So here is your traction control. You can turn that off so you can go crazy. Uh, I've only turned it off a few times. It is pretty wild. Be, be ready to roll some tires when you do that. Um, here's the uh, suspension control. You got a couple different options. Um, you can do um, AMG sports suspension. That's kind of like firming things up a little bit. And this is like totally radical on the Sport Plus. There it is. Um, that's like for track mode, that's like insane. And by the way, we can also configure the uh, transmission. Uh, sport on the bottom right, you can see that, and then Sport Plus, uh, that gives you the plus. This gives you really aggressive shifting in the automatic transmission. It has an automatic transmission with a um, no torque converter. It's got a wet clutch, so the wet clutch is excellent. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute how it launches. It's very good, and of course, uh, manual mode is another option. Manual mode is just totally manual. So you can shift the gears just like a manual transmission. There's almost immediate shifting between the different gears. So I like to be in C most of the time. C you start off in second gear. You also have this economy mode. Most of the time when you stop, the engine will shut off when you pull up to a traffic light, to save a little bit of gas. And also when you when you push on the brake, um, when you hold down the brake, it'll, it'll, it'll hold you and you'll be stopped. So that's another cool feature when you're uh, when you're in drive. And you press down the brake, it puts on a hold so you don't have to hold your foot on the brake, you take your foot off the brake. By the way, nice brake pedals on this car. They're aluminum racing pedals, very nice. Um, by the way, a really cool uh, steering wheel, nice leather with Alcantara on the side for a nice grip. Um, excellent, three spoke wheel. This is a driving machine. This is just a driving machine all the way around. One more thing, the AMG button. When you press that, this is your configuration that's stored. When you hit it, that gives me my AMG settings. So I don't have to go in and play with all these buttons. Basically, I hit the AMG button and it, and it hits me. One thing I really like about this car that's really cool is that um, there's no sport mode button for the power. The power is always there. Um, it, it makes uh, 570 uh, torque on this S model and 500, and, excuse me, 570 horsepower and 590 torque um, on the S model. And that's a tremendous amount of power and it's always there. It's always making that twin turbo. It's, uh, it's amazing power and you don't have to push an S button. It's always there and it, it, the power is always with you. So that's pretty cool that you don't have to push a button to get it. It's always with you. And whether you're driving gently, take it around town, or you get on it with the Porsche Turbo, you gotta push that sport button to get the extra S power. With this S model, the S power is always with you all the time. So I think that's a really cool feature about the car. It's got a, um, this has got the Zeno package. So that means that this guy custom spec the car before with the beautiful uh, chestnut leather and walnut um, trim. And he has also has a uh, Dezinho metallic white paint and it has a Harman Kardon sound system. It's not the best in the world, but you know, if, you, if, you, if 
gives you decent sound, you know, it's a luxury car. I mean, it's all leather. Everywhere you touch is leather on this car. The dashboard, everywhere over here is leather. All leather, everything's leather on the car. One really nice feature, it has the full panoramic roof. Um, it's nice for mounting uh, cameras up there. Um, and the whole roof is covered with Alcantara uh, as well. It's just a luxury car. Um, it has everything you want. Um, it has uh, heated and ventilated seats. Just about any luxury function you could possibly ask for. Uh, the mirrors are powered, they swing in and out. The trunk, which is a really cool feature on a Mercedes, is a power trunk. When you're air with your groceries, you want to push a button, it'll close the trunk for you. Lock the car or just close the trunk. You can pick either option. Pretty cool car. Uh, one thing that's really uh, confusing about the car that's kind of difficult is uh, to get the car into uh, the launch control mode. That's the only thing that I really don't like about the car. It takes some finagling to get in the launch control. Like if you were at a red light or if you were at a drag strip or trying to race somebody, it's kind of confusing to get it into launch control. So I'll show you that in a minute. It's kind you're of going to hit the sport plus mode. You're going to hit the traction control off on the sport. You're going to hit your turn this all the way to the right. You're going to get into racing mode. Then you're going to hit your paddle up racing start to confirm paddle up holding your brake pedal all the way down. Now you got racing, you're gonna hit the gas pedal all the way down and then put you in the race mode and it's holding the launch and you just have to lift your foot off the brake and then it gives you the, the launch control. Figured if you watch this far and throw in an extra feature, check out the new AMG GT. It's a really nice car. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment or a thumbs up if you like the video. From a uh, AMG GT63. It's a brand new car from uh, Mercedes. Uh, it's a really wonderful machine. I just wanted to sit in here on the inside and show you guys what it looks like. Um, these are all buttons here, by the way. Uh, if the car was operational, you would see uh, what it works. Uh, all these different buttons. They all do something. Sport mode, traction control. Um, this is a beautiful car. These seats, by the way, I'm sitting in right now. These uh, these seats are coming to here. The AMG Sport seats are the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. And the car has a Burmeister sound system. Kind of like... Um, like a maybe a gray with uh, contrasting stitching and carbon fiber interior two tone with Alcantara uh, headliner and a pillar. This car uh, retails for like 160. It's a really nice car. Let's take a look at the outside. I think this is a this is an amazing machine for the price. It's like 160. Uh, sticker price. I don't know if you can pick it up for sticker or not. I'll find out from these guys But it's an amazing car. I think this makes around 630 horsepower a little more than the regular E63 It's a big car But I think it will wax the E63 because it's got more power The wing comes up in the back when you go fast. Spoiler. GT63. And it's got shade, shade in the back, sunshade. The moon roof, the moon roof is kind of small. It only has like a glass sunroof, it doesn't have a full panoramic roof. Nice looking wheels though. I don't know if those are like real knockoff wheels like a Porsche or if those are just like a for the lug nuts. Big car though. Got a hot looking nose, no? 